I don't think the camera is going to be able to fully capture the beauty of this site, but you get an idea. Good morning YouTube. Today we're doing something that I thought I would never do. We're going to Dove Lake to see Cradle Mountain. Table for breakfast and once again a pretty amazing view to eat with. thought of Dove Lake as this really remote place that you know you'd have to hike for days to get to and it's a drive for ages before you even started that but the reality is we're up here we just got to jump on a bus and it's going to take us right there and we're going to get to see that iconic view of Cradle Mountain. I'm really excited. I know Chloe's very excited as well. It's going to be awesome. Chloe's found another one but it's probably the same one. G'day Willy. Hi buddy. Resident lawnmower. Hello. Oh, look. Hello. He loves that grass, doesn't he? He has a terrible spot to put his TV because... My phone says it's zero degrees at the moment. But honestly, I don't even feel the inclination to put my jacket on. It's just kind of refreshing, to be honest. When we were driving here, we got our first glimpse of Cradle, like over at behind the visitor centre. So it's a lot closer than we expected. The whole idea of the bus is that it keeps all the cars here and just reduces the traffic that's going out into the park. Better for the environment and all that kind of stuff. This is a backpack. See? Fits in my hand. You ready? Damn, I don't think I'll ever get that back in there. <laughs> Wow, now it really is a backpack. There it is. It's about to get a whole lot bigger. I'm gonna go on one of them. We just realized that the bus is electric because it was moving and there was literally no engine sound. All we could hear was the, the crinkle of the gravel under the tires. We're currently at Cradle Mountain, one of the most iconic locations in all of Tasmania. You're welcome, bye bye. That's the start of the overland track, which is like five to six days worth of walking. Don't think we're up for that. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. There it is. It's Cradle Mountain. So there's a walker registration up here where you've got to tell them where you're going to walk to and there's toilets. There's a whole lot of different walks you can do around here, ranging from nice and short and easy to like half days. There's even the overland track, which is like multiple days. But the important thing is you must sign in, even if you're just doing a little short, easy one, because it's a safety thing. They need to know where you are in case you don't come back. I still can't believe that we're here. I've been talking about coming to Cradle Mountain for decades. Little frozen pond. A little river running back there. You're gonna get sick of looking at this view, aren't you? Because I'm just gonna keep filming it. <laughs> They're in the process of building a new viewing center at the moment. And there is Dove Lake. That is the lake. We could 
could not have asked for a better day for this. I mean, given the weather yesterday, given the uh, miserable rain and stuff that we had on our Gordon River cruise, we've, uh, we've been really blessed today. This is absolutely perfect. Oh, Chloe's found the bow shed. <laughs> there it is. All right, we can go home now. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Maybe there's another boat shed. <laughs> oh, snow up there. But honestly, I really can't feel it in the air. Can you? It's, it's, it's a little bit cool, but not like it has been at back home. So this is a cool idea. It's called Cradle 365. The idea is you stick your camera here in this bracket which gives you the exact position as everyone else. You take your photo and then you tag it with the hashtag Cradle365 and they'll basically create a year-long time-lapse of um, the mountain over the, over the whole year. And this is the actual shot that they use. Look at it. Going uphill now. We think we can see the boat shed in the distance there. That's where we're walking to. I mean, every angle I see this mountain from is just as good as the next, or the previous. Five more minutes. Down here. This area is covered by a variety of alpine and subalpine vegetation. Button grass, ferns, and deciduous beech, which is interesting because most native Australian trees are evergreen. There's the boat shed down there. That's where we're going. We made it, Chloe. <laughs> Meet the boat shed. Cradle Mountain is 1,545 metres above sea level, making it the sixth highest mountain in Tasmania. The Aboriginal people that lived here were from the Big River and Northern Nations. The boat shed was built in the 1940s to house boats and rafts for visitors staying at the Waldheim Lodge. Dove Lake is a glaciated lake bed. Alright, we're going to keep moving because the natives are getting restless. One native in particular. And another little lake down there. So, now that we've done the boat shed, we thought we'd go to Marion's Lookout. Just another five minutes up the other direction. It's three However, turn. we're looking really carefully here at the, the, the stuff scratched out. We think it's actually in an hour 15 minutes from one this hour, point. One, one hour and a half, one way, an hour and a half together. It is a difficult trail. Okay, that's disappointing. <laughs> We're not going to Marion's Lookout then. <laughs> Especially not people who are sweating like mad. So that's a little trick for you. <laughs> it's, it's not five minutes. I'm trying to let you just hear some of the natural sounds from around here. It's uh, really relaxing. All right, we're doing the glacier rock walk now, and we still get to look at that amazing mountain. We just get different views of it from different angles, and it never gets old. You can see the boat shed off in the distance where we were before. Looks really cool from here. Now, if I had internet connection here, I would um, bring up the Lord of the Rings soundtrack on my phone and listen to that while I was walking. That would just make this even more epic. 
it's time to climb the stairs of destiny. Check out the little white stuff. I think that's lichen again. It's just such different vegetation. I mean, this is not bush walking as such. This is kind of alpine area. Yeah, you still got your traditional Aussie gum tree. And these things here, these are cool. The Dove Lake circuit would be cool, but it's like two to three hours one way. So we're going to Glacier Rock. Because I'm already puffing. I don't think the camera is going to be able to fully capture the beauty of this site. But you get an idea. Wow. Pretty awesome. Best thing about a big walk like this, it's an excuse to eat Tim Tams. Look what we brought to reward ourselves with. We're just undoing all the hard work. Mat mitt. <laughs> So I wonder if Dove Lake is what's left of the glacier as it melted. So I think this here is glacier rock. It's certainly a big rock. Well, we're going to head back down to the car park and meet the bus, which means Saying goodbye to this, which is kind of hard. The other place to explore down here is up in the clearing up there where Waldheim is, the chalet. A few wombats out and about in front of us as well. It's actually two directly in front of us. There he is. Alright, away we go. There's actually a couple of them on the hill. And there's an echidna too. Can you see them on my screen? Look at that, he stopped for us. That is so cool. That was incredible. And Linda was just pointing out a few minutes ago. Tasmanians are the only people who can actually go and see that at the moment because our borders are currently closed, so we are very lucky. Alright, the plan now is to hop back on the bus. We're going to go to the Interpretation Centre, have a look at that, and then we're going to do a 10 minute walk to the Pencil Pine Falls. That's really bright, which is why I'm kind of squinting. So, when we were here last night, the Ranger Station Interpretation Centre was closed. Uh, so we're just going to go check it out now, see if it's open, have a look around inside. This wood is from Gustav Weindoffer's boat, which he used to give tours of Dove Lake in 1925. Platypus, some Tassie Devils. So that's kind of the view we were looking at before. There's Dove Lake. If you look at this and you come around, you can see what the whole mountain actually looks like. So it's this little dippy bit that is most famous, but there's all this other stuff over here. What is that? Isn't that interesting? What is that? They put some chairs to sit down. We found a little movie theater. Yeah, as long as. Oh, shh. It says welcome to Rainford Pencil Pine Falls. Okay. It's got two names. Well, I'm guessing this is Pencil Pine Falls.
Celery top pine, the tree whose leaves are not actually leaves. And this is a pencil pine, or it was, still is, but it's just not like growing anymore. Leaves, logs and dead animals in this forest are broken down by fungi, bacteria and bugs into soil materials used by the plants. Kind of like recycling. Myrtle Beach. I just hit 10,000 steps on my Fitbit and it's only early afternoon. So this is the Cradle Valley Boardwalk which takes you all sorts of places. It's an hour to Snake Hill, an hour 45 to Ronnie Creek, two to three hours to Dove Lake, or you can do the overland track four to five days. <laughs> but we're not doing any of them today. Well, this is where we need to be. Where the bus stops. So we can go back. Have a look, Harry. Go home and do some clothes washing. Don't bite everyone's head. He's right there. Oh yeah. Well, our feet hurt. Our energy levels are getting a bit lower but we've had an amazing time our souls are full <laughs> oh yes we're heading to the car getting ready for the drive home do you think they missed you <laughs> oh, daisy well here on the calling show we love to share the sights of tasmania and beyond and at the moment especially tasmania and this has got to be one of the most amazing sights there is to see so hope you've really enjoyed sharing the experience with us check out our other adventures subscribe and we'll see you somewhere else around tasmania or the world bye